Welcome back to Post Time. Recently, talented young driver Marcus Miller visited Dover Downs, and I pulled him aside to chat about family trees, Twitter, movies, and we talked about harness racing too, I think. We are gonna learn all about your family history. That's what we're gonna start out with because there is a lot of Millers in harness racing. We know your name is Marcus, and how is Irv and David and Brett, how are they all related to you, if they even are? So Irv is my dad, and Andy's my uncle, so that makes Julie my aunt, and that's pretty much, well, my little sister Hannah also has just started driving too. She's doing a good job this summer. I am not related to any of the Purple Millers, so no, no Brad or David, even though they're nice guys, we're not related. <laughs> Having the last name Miller is totally cool in harness racing, okay? It really, really is. You, right, right. For sure, for sure. Okay, okay. So, and this is my story behind that. So I was at Harrisburg Sale recently, so I'm hanging out with your mom, who's Heidi, and then your aunt, who's Julie, okay? Uh -huh. So they're introducing themselves to people, and I'm Heidi Miller, I'm Julie Miller, and then the people look at me, and I'm like, I'm Amanda Miller. Okay, so right, so like, oh, so your mom and your aunt, they don't say anything because it's girl code that if you give a totally wrong name, I guess you could say, or you know, alias or something, you never correct the person, right? Fair enough. That's okay. yeah, for sure. Miller's a good one to to fake because there's lots of us. Yeah. <laughs> I have even fibbed about like what I do for a living. I've told people I'm astronaut in training. Have you ever fibbed about what you did for a living? If I'm really tired while I'm getting a haircut, I might not mention that I drive horses because then you have to explain what harness racing is. But I, I do if I most of the time I, I tell them what I do because I like to spread the word and let people know what it is. But maybe if I'm a little grumpy or something, I might say I just go to school or work on a farm. <laughs> You know what, I'm glad that you brought up this spreading the word because Twitter is so awesome and you're on Twitter. And tell me a little bit about how social media uh, pertains to harness racing. Well, you can follow me at M. Miller Driver. And uh, I think it's something really important because we don't have enough exposure and that's free exposure. So, so we, we have to take advantage of it if we can. And like a lot of guys are doing really good at it. I probably could do a little more, but uh, I, it's, it's a good thing and it's free. So you can't beat it. I know you from racing at East Coast tracks, you know, like in Pennsylvania, even at the Meadowlands, at, at Chester. Um, however, you're not from the East Coast, are you? No, I grew up in Illinois. Uh, I started racing at Balmoral in Maywood. That's where I, I kind of cut my teeth, and I was the leading driver there before I left, so that was my pushing off point. But I really loved it back there. I had a lot of fun. I still have friends that race there, and it's kind of a, not as good a place to race now as it used to be, but. Hopefully they can get something done there, but yeah, it was a great place to learn how to race and it really helped me. What I learned there has made it possible for me to drive out here. Yeah, were you 2011 uh, driver the year in Chicago? Both tracks, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, congratulations, I'm three years late on that, but way to go, man, nice, nice work. Uh, how do you like living in the East Coast? It's gotta be different. It's way different. One thing I did not anticipate was all the driving. I. I put on a million miles on my car and doing two tracks, but I really like it. It means a lot when you run a race out here and everybody's watching, paying attention. It's really tough to win a race, but it's very rewarding. Well, we're glad that you're here at Dover. I know you made some appearances here last year and we hope we see you again this year. Now, uh, since Marcus, this is a first, he's making his post time debut. I always kind of like to ask some fun questions. Um, okay, let's see here. I. Lucky for you, I skimmed my 120 questions for Marcus down to like five. So, uh, all right, if you could be on the cover of any magazine, what would it be? Let's go time. Everybody, like, that's a famous one. How about that? Yes, man of the year. I see it now. I see it now. Do you have, a, like, a favorite line from a movie? Uh, mine, of course, like, Gone with the Wind. I can recite, actually, every line just about in Gone with the Wind. Um, but do you have a favorite movie when there might be a favorite line in there? I don't know. It seems like you quote Dumb and Dumber on accident all the time because there's so many good ones, but I don't know if I could pick just one. <laughs> I can't believe we drove around all day and there's not a single job in this town. There's nothing, nada, zip. Yeah, unless you want to work 40 hours a week. <laughs> Why are you going to the airport? Flying somewhere? How about do you scream on roller coasters? Like, do you like amusement parks? I do like amusement parks, but I don't think I scream. I'm pretty quiet. I just hang on tight. <laughs>
Uh, no, the last question is, do you have like a secret skill, um, something maybe you've never told anybody in an interview, uh, maybe even a bad habit? Okay, wait, I just thought of something. I have a really bad habit. Do you want to do confession time? Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Try. I can't believe I'm going to say this. Okay, this is my bad habit. And it actually makes me feel better because Britney Spears has the same bad habit, but I actually come bite my toenails. It's disgusting, isn't it? I definitely don't. I I can barely touch them with my hands. <laughs> I can't reach I can't reach my toes. But uh I don't know. I I'm sure I have some kind of bad habit. I I seem to be very forgetful. Um, uh, Sarah, it, my wife is always reminding me to do something. I'll walk into the room to do it and then forget it right away. So that's probably the worst thing I do. She might say something worse. I don't know. <laughs> whoa, whoa. I have got to interrupt this interview. There is no way that I'm going to confess that I bite my toenails. And the worst thing that Marcus can come up with is that he's forgetful. <sighs> okay. So what I did was I went on Facebook to try to find a little bit of dirt and I came up with this. Yes, this picture right here. Um, okay, so it's from a few years ago and it happens to be Halloween. Um, but what's a girl to do? I mean, how do you find any dirt on somebody so nice and squeaky clean as Marcus Miller? I did my best. Okay. Back to the conclusion of our interview, already in progress. Well, thank you for being on the show and uh, letting us have some fun with you. I really, really appreciate it. Yep, thanks for having me.